What's going on YouTube? Back again with the new RC four wheel drive Desert Runner Hero Truck. Uh, I've got the body and the bed all pulled off. The chassis is really, I, I, I'm really impressed with it. I like to uh, just sit here and look at it sometimes. But I gotta get this thing running because I really want to see how it, how it performs. Um, it's very scale as far as the flex and the movement and the rebound. It's very, uh, very realistic so not going crazy on the electronics a because I don't really have anything good to put in it and B I don't think a whole lot of speed and stuff is what this really needs it needs to be more more scale it's very scale suspension scale ride height um, it's gonna perform scale so we don't need it to be blistering fast and breaking stuff right out of the gate try to keep it uh, a little more reasonable <laughs> so I pulled the little planetary gearbox apart, and I'm going to use this Axial 27 turn basic can motor, nothing fancy. Uh, for steering, I'm going to just use this uh, RC four-wheel drive, this is a twister, yeah, just their basic twister high torque servo. Uh, those have been pretty good. They're not lightning fast, but they have a fair amount of torque, and uh, they're abundant. I've got a bunch of them laying around. Um, so this gearbox, this thing is very involved to take apart it's inside is looks like a version of their uh what was that one the disruptor transmission or i can't remember what they called it it's one they used to have back in the day uh different front housing they had a mini version the gears were close to that size same layout different casing we've got ribbed i don't know if this is really going to get that hot i guess it could but all of these little screws long skinny screws go through and attach to our plate so you have to take that apart to get the motor on and to get to the sum of the screws with any size wrench basically you got to take the entire motor plate out and the chassis is two piece each rail is two pieces there's a joint right there where the uh, remote reservoir is zip tied that one has already come loose so you take the front two out of each and the whole transmission drops right out. That's why this ready or almost ready to run version came with the drive shaft not installed because you have to pull it out to put a motor in anyway. So I'm going to put all this together. We've got our pinion gear with a couple extra uh, set screws. We've got my servo horns and our drive shaft. I'm going to start looking at all that stuff and getting it together. So that was terrifying. <laughs> Everything clear, windows, headlights, tail lights. You've got to get violent with them with a flathead screwdriver to get them out. I think I did more body damage than I will the first time driving it, just trying to get this thing apart. So much stuff. The uh, headlights are very brittle. And once I did pop the grill out, the letters did come apart. So the R came off on me. So it, it's just a matter of time before you can get an actual Ford lettering to fit in that. Um, you probably just leave the R like it is. That O could almost be a D, but they all do come apart. Um, what else? Tailgate assembly is, again, another one of those things. There's no way to get that off. 
without taking the inside and the hinge and, and latches out and you're left with the outside piece and the hinges and you just bend it. This plastic is super, super thick. And again, the letters will come off. They were planning ahead. <laughs> but yeah, this that's the only way to get tailgate off is to flex it, bend it in. Um, the mirrors. The mirrors are just held in by nature. <laughs> they just kind of fit on some tabs inside the door and are locked under the edge of the outside part of the door frame. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. I hope I've got it laid out where I can remember it. So now I'm going to take this to the sink and clean it up because it is covered in molding casting residue. two weeks this body is a nightmare uh, part of the problem was I tried the plasti dip at first and I had to spend an entire week of spare time trying to peel all that mess off uh, second was reassembly I don't know if it was well, what the paint something it was just everything was hard to start screw holes were stripped out after one turn uh, real pain in the butt the doors are on and closed for the last time they'll ever be closed because they tore all the paint off the front fenders. You can see this side's the worst. Hey, I don't know if the tolerances are very tight on it or what, but I didn't put a whole lot of paint on this. It's got two light coats and one finish coat. I didn't do any clear or anything and it just, yeah, grazed right along everything. And I peeled all, there was no Plasti Dip under there. It was back to plastic had been cleaned thoroughly <laughs> it's just a pain in the butt so uh yeah got everything in and working even the tailgate doesn't want to open all the way either now i'm assuming because of paint is the only thing i can figure it's filled in the gap that it had to move <clears throat> so I'm, I'm not going to open that either i really hope uh rc four wheel drive starts to bring out some new bodies for this because this one is unpleasant. <laughs> uh, so I've got a motor and radio and stuff in it. I just used some RTR stuff from RC4 wheel drive I already had. Um, I did paint a few details on the body. I've had such a hard time with the body. I really wanted to do the fender flares and the vents and stuff, but I'm there's no way. <laughs> and all the bad luck I've had with this, I'm just done. Done painting. I hate painting anyway. I like to get back to some rust. So, uh, yeah. I just threw it. It's got a 27 turn axial motor. Um, I did have a slight issue with that. The transmission, I had to put spacers between the motor and the transmission because the shaft on the motor was hitting into the gears. It was too long. They want the pinion gear all the way against the motor. So that left about a quarter inch of shaft sticking out the end got it all together and it wouldn't turn so I had to space the motor away from the transmission a little bit now I had a little bit of conflict from my motor wires to the steering linkage so it's it's very tight very tightly wound in here see this side didn't do as bad I don't have any tan 
brush or paint pen or anything to touch that up so let's go outside and see if we can peel the rest of the paint off <laughs> um yeah no mods i haven't done anything to it i want to see how it drives as is first i know a lot of folks have uh done some lift kits and body lifts and things like that different tires and wheels but i just want to see how it does out of the box it has drooped a little in the front now that we've got all of our electronics in so we'll see how that actually does ground clearance is affected a little bit um i did not install the servo for the lockers i don't have another servo at the moment so i and the way my ready to run electronics were that i just threw in here that was the only spot i could put the speed controller anyway so um very limited on space for that i don't know you have a little bit of space on the firewall you could mount something but uh it'd have to be a smaller unit than the rc four-wheel drive one that i have so it is like right up here where the uh yeah where the servo should mount uh i'm just gonna run open diffs for now I am do plan on seeing how the lockers work. Um, it, it does have the cable front and rear lockers. Pretty cool. Uh, but uh, for now, we're just going to do open. Um, what else? Not going to open the door. <laughs> it's tempting. They they do latch and everything. I got all that assembled back perfect, but I'm not not going to mess with it. My paint job my, came out all right. I still got a little bit of overspray in the cracks where my sticker masking had lifted up and what can you do now I'm not, I'm not after everything else was going wrong with it i'm not messing with it um the bed i left the inside of the tailgate black i, I don't want to scratch the paint off the bottom of the tailgate so uh the hero letters do pop off um uh, someone sent me a link i think it's rcaddict.com they do have some 3d printed ford front and rear letters for this and a battery's charged but uh i didn't i didn't want to do it yet they're they're very fairly inexpensive i think it was like six dollars a set but they're glue on and these have little tabs that, that snap in and I, I didn't as much hell as i've had with the body i didn't want to try to glue something to it <laughs> so i just left it the hero truck because it's been a not a hero <laughs> little roof lights and stuff they are side specific and that was a little bit of a challenge sorting all that back out it wouldn't have been as bad if i hadn't to wait a week and a half two weeks to put it back together after i took it apart and it just took so long to get all that plasti dip off i it didn't spray right it was too cold when i sprayed it and it just made a mess and uh, i'm not sure if y'all have seen this this back wall of the cab here it slides out and that's where your battery goes under the back seat it's really good design the chassis on this I know I'm just kind of banging on the body. I, you know, I'm not a Ford guy to start with. The Raptor's cool. Um, it's a little too detailed. I, I don't like to get this involved. I know a lot of folks out there will love it. And, uh, you know, that's great. There's something out there for everybody. This body is not for me. That's why it did not come out well for me in the, the paint and body department because I really wasn't super excited about it. There's too much interior for me. I, I hate opening doors. It's always an issue. Every time I've ever dealt with them, it's caused problems, just like we scraped the paint off the fenders now. So, uh, I don't know. I hope there'll be some more options for this. The platform, the chassis itself is fantastic. It's very well engineered. And uh, I've seen Scale Builders Guilds. They're doing a uh, a uh, new Forerunner body. They shortened the, the chassis. That looks pretty cool. It'll be one to uh, keep your eye on for sure. So, I am going to get this thing, I'll get the battery, get it loaded up, <clears throat> we'll go outside and see what happens. My electronics is kind of crudely installed because I'm probably going to have to steal it back off of here before long. But, anyway, let's go bash this thing around.
that was a very short drive. It's pretty uneventful. <laughs> this thing is is slow. It I put a 27 turn motor in it. I've run those axial can motors and trail finder twos and stuff, and they've been pretty peppy. And you thought maybe this would be geared a little bit better because of you know it's supposed to be a Raptor. Raptors are kind of fast off road trucks, but yeah, it's not fast by any means. I can't even spin the tires. Um, I don't have the axles locked, so it was, of course, horrible on the rocks. I already broke the uh, running board. That's awesome. <laughs> I just decided to put those back on. I guess it's a good thing I did. So I don't know. I got mixed feelings about this thing. Uh, I've been frustrated at the body all morning putting it back together. And, uh, yeah, now, after seeing it actually run, it... I think they might have missed the opportunity with this. It could have been a, uh, you know, it didn't need to get out there and hang with the slashes and stuff on the tracks, but it could have been enough to at least kick some donuts. Made it a little, uh, little geared a little higher for fun. <laughs> so I don't know, other than just towing a trailer with it, with some other stuff on it, just for looks, I don't really see a purpose for this thing. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Hoping, uh, Hoping there's some solutions come out. It's the problem with getting something when it's brand new. Because you don't really, uh, not any options yet. Um, again, the body's all messed up from opening the doors. Looks terrible. But, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I, I love the chassis. I love how realistic it is. But, I, I was really disappointed with how slow, and how slow it is. I don't know. I'm afraid it's going to be geared like, a crawler and even if you throw a brushless on it it's gonna have power to snap stuff and all that but it's not really gonna have the top end speed <clears throat> that a Raptor should so anyways uh, it's been kind of a bummer video it's taken me two weeks to wrap it up the body work didn't come out as well as I'd hoped but I don't know any ideas of what we should make out of this and uh, the wheelbase is about 14 inches. I've been getting asked, asked that a lot. So what else out there that has an independent front suspension would look cool on a scale four-wheel drive chassis? But uh, anyways, yeah, it didn't even get fast enough to roll over or nothing. So, I don't know. But I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Keep it scale.